guys, hello guys, welcome back, welcome back. I trust and I believe you are doing great today. May God bless you all and keep you all in good health in Jesus' name. Amen, keep believing and trusting, no matter your situation, just keep believing on the God, the most high God. Yes. They will see you through. Today, guys, we are eating beans, rice and beans. We have boiled eggs here. Yeah? I have cow tea also inside the beans. Mm. We have prayer, let yummy, us eat. Yummy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, sanctify this whole blood of Jesus. is going to eat this food nourish our body. Pray for those who don't have us provide for them. We pray for our Lord, ask for their good desires. We ask for those who are sick. We ask, Father, you pray for, we ask that you heal them, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to bit you. I'm going to be a little bit. 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 I'm going to Amen. Amen. Guys, we do really appreciate you all from the bottom of our hearts. Yes, so. We say thank you. No matter your situation, never give up. Always take vitamin P. Everybody in this life needs vitamin P. To succeed in life, you need vitamin P. To get healing, you need vitamin P. Fruit of the womb, you need vitamin P. Taking care of your children, vitamin P. Vitamin P is patient. That is what all, all of us need. I'll be starting with the egg. Yes, so guys, we all need vitamin P. Yummy, yummy. That's beans and the rice egg. So yummy, guys. So yummy. Last time we ate this beans and the rice and egg, we did a broad, a broad um, test where I was having 84, 83, she was having 83. After two hours, for we first eight egg protein. Then we add this one. It was very good. That's what we are trying it again. But we did it off camera. Guys, we didn't do blood test today. Sugar test. Next time we'll be doing it. But if I finish this one after two hours, I have to. I do. I do check my sugar level off camera. Every day. Anytime I eat food, I check my sugar level. I wake up. If I still wake up, I check my sugar level. To know I'm functioning. Whether my blood sugar is high. Before, my waking up sugar level was very high. Later stop because I start following up, controlling my sugar level. It's very good, guys. Eating health is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Don't eat junky food. But eat healthy. You can see it's carbohydrates. If you cook food, your cooked food is more better than buying of food. Because of all this oil they are using, you don't know the oil they use. Yes, the way this food is sweet, eh? Because your hand is sweet. That's mm -hmm. why the food is sweet. Guys, always take good care, good care of yourself. It's very important. Eat healthy. Sad news. This week, somebody in our place of work, a driver, 
we just enter toilet to go and easy step. The wife was in the in the car waiting for her. In the in the trailer waiting for her. Waiting for the husband. The man just that was the end of that man. You know, know what what calculate attack or something like that. It just that was the end of the man's life. The man died. Look at the man was sick oh, since he just managing himself to go to work. I believe the man was sick before, was just managing. The wife was waiting for him outside in the car. Because the man is driving uh, this uh, trailer. Mm -hmm. what, what? I thought some of them used to take, they said that some of them used to come with their children. If they are going far, their wife will be there, there with them. The wife is inside the trailer waiting for her. No. With her, with her handy. This man went to use a uh, toilet, he went to use restroom. Mm -hmm. They were waiting for him, he didn't come, I just died. Today. This one is not story, it's where my husband Today, is this walking. week, the just, man just died. Mm -hmm. oh, we are talking about eating healthy. You have to eat healthy, it's very healthy important. Lifestyle. Live a healthy lifestyle. Because Check your blood sugar. That attack can come at any time. Mm -hmm. Even though you don't have the sign, it can happen. At a two of an eye, boom. Check your blood sugar. Go. Check your BP. Look how you are functioning. It's very important. Maybe this person now the BP was very high before he left to work. Or you might not know that the BP even high. Yeah. So people don't know their BP they high. Mm -hmm. Cause mm -hmm. if you check, that is when you will know. Maybe BP was very high before he left for work. Didn't know. I just a driver too. A driver is my friend. He told me I was I didn't see him for for work for how many days, for some weeks. He told me I have a heart attack, but he survived. Mm -hmm. You have a heart attack, survive. I tell you, you, be, you have to eat, you have to be careful. That's no. another different one. This have happened, I mean, five months ago. Some people will just walk and walk and walk, they don't rest. All this money, I used to say, is vanity upon vanity. Look at this one that went to the restroom, I did not come out. <coughs> Everything has gone. The world is vanity up and vanity, but inside it, you have to live. A, you have opportunity to live a good life. Make sure you're, you are live healthy. Or some people now, we are supposed to live hundred years because of their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. They will live 40, 50, 30. You know. Because by the time you start eating it, eating, 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 consuming those food that is not good from, from every time you're consuming it, and sugar is the most de deadly thing there. Mm -hmm. Sugar is, is dangerous than, 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 than tobacco. Mm -hmm. It's the most dangerous. We have been lied. We have been lied. So for many things, we have been lied to this world. Though. All of us are living in lies because they have lied to us. We believe it. They say that fat is not good, but sugar is good. Why fat? Your body needs very good fat. And it's just some people they are still sick. They are still giving them the food sugar. Mm -hmm. They are still causing themselves harm. Cannot be healed. Some people they save money, but to eat food is their problem. <laughs> I see some people, I know some people, they save money, but to eat food is their problem. I don't know why. I don't know that if you take care of yourself, if you have good health, that is when you will enjoy the riches you are saving. Good health is better Without than Without good health, you cannot enjoy the riches. So. It's rubbish. All this money we are struggling for at times we have to take care of ourselves. Yeah, sometimes if you even think. Yeah. You, you, you think, you think, say all this money I'm making for all these things I'm building, all these things I'm making. <laughs> say if you die, it's 
Uh -huh. it's, it's gone. Nothing I said. It doesn't make sense. Like the day he called me, my husband called me this week, telling me that the person just died in the uh, place of work. Now the person have even changed to blue self. Oh, that? Yeah. He told me. I, f I didn't know the person. I felt for the family and the. I, I felt for the family. I said, look at. Fine. I said, look at somebody just go for a daily job. He could not return home. I said, it's so sad. I felt it for hours. I did not get myself. Why? I was not only thinking about the family, I was also thinking about myself. I said, this life is just like this. One day, everybody, will, everything will join hand. Why all this? Why all the killing? Why all the uh, bitterness? Why all the hatred? Why all the backbiting? I said, see, look at somebody now. He went to work. He did not return back home. He drove that trailer that day. Because last month or the last two months I was last month I was telling the story. Ask somebody. I know. The person went to work, so just close from work. The person I know. He closed from work. He said he wanted to enter his car. People were talking with him outside before. That was what saved the person's life. When he got to his car, he wanted to put key where they are putting key to start the car. I cannot start the car. He was not seeing anything again. It was inside though, try, try, so everything became big in inside. Those people were still outside looking at him. It was those people that said, not sir, why is he job? Why did he put his head on his stereo? They came to him. The word of God said, naked we come, this word, naked we will go. We hey. come, come this word empty handed. We will not bring anything come this word. When we die, we are going to leave everything the way we come. That's how we live. We are stranger. We are visitors here. That was why they called 911 for this man. 911, I took him to the hospital. As I got to the hospital, they checked his BP. His BP was very, very high. They have to immediately give him medicine. Bring something that will bring his BP down. If nobody was there that day on the parking lot or parking plaza, this man would just give up there. It happened a lot of times. Yeah. The one that happened, the one that fell down from my place of work, the same thing. The one that, that died this week, the same thing. So if nobody, if somebody, the one that fell down, people were there. Mm -hmm. They call ambulance. That's how they got saved. If nobody is there, I can just go there, just go like that. And this one I talk, this one I'm talking about is a white person. No? If it's if it's African person now, they will say they are killing at all. All of them are white person. No? Yeah, they, those one is just their head tissue. If it's we African, where we come from, they will say it's a spiritual problem. They have killed him at all. So somebody send out. They say somebody send out. That thing is just the person did take care of his head. He was having head challenges. Those people send arrows to people, yes. But inside of those things, it would be maybe 1% or 2%. Uh -huh. The other ones is health, normal health issue that kill people. Any sickness, I've come to realize, I've come to know that any sickness you are praying, you need healing. If it's not spiritual, if you are praying, if it's spiritual, God will give you healing. If it's God still give healing, no. Physical too. Physical too. There are some situations where I'm saying it. There are some prayer you are praying, God give me healing. Oh God, I need healing. There are some things you are eating. Your lifestyle needs to be changed. If you get that healing, you still go back to that normal style. Except you are realize that that style, that lifestyle you are living is the problem of the sickness. That is it for some people. Because some people they have been sick, they are battering, battering. I've seen many people say they are sick, sick, sick. The only thing they have not do, they have prayed and prayed and did something. But a day came in their life, they have to change their diet. They say, let me just try this change because they wash things, they listen to people, they change their diet. Things begin to move for them. We are praying, pray for God for wisdom. That God should give you wisdom in everything you are doing. Mm -hmm. God is not a wicked God. 
It's a loving, a loving father. He answer us according to his will. Mm -hmm. You know? You might be praying for God for hearing, hearing. God will give you the wisdom. This is what you will do. You will be God healed. And some people, God will, some people, God give them that wisdom. They'll say, go to, to, to go and check this thing. Go and do this thing. But the people don't know that God is one speaking to them. Give them some knowledge. Some of them, somebody will sit there. Like they will sit there. They all believe on spiritual. I know some people, they are too spiritual. Yeah, there are some people, God can see you, someone else will tell you, this is what you can mm -hmm. do. And your problem will be solved. They ignore it. And why some people God give you wisdom, tell you this is what you do. They don't do it. They don't, they don't take it just like that. But we say spiritual problem. The word of God. So God says my spirit will never strive with man anymore. So when God speaks to you, he doesn't strive with you, he doesn't follow you to argue. When I was taking my son to hospital every time, every time, every time, I was praying. Till God use somebody there to tell to whisper to us what we will do. Yeah. Somebody whisper to us, they say, see what will stop and what will stop. A they doctor. say we should not tell anybody, they say because you don't want to have a problem. A doctor. A doctor. The doctor have saved me two times. It's Very God that big used him. Big hospital. This doctor have saved me two times. There was something I was still battering to. I just went there, just tell me that if I stop this thing, I stop this thing, I stop. I stop it. The thing stop. He whispered to us when somebody is not there. He said we should not tell anybody. So go answer prayer different ways. Yeah. You can God can heal you directly. From that sickness, that situation, God can see you someone else to tell you what to do. This thing we are, we are worrying you with, all of them will disappear. You know? But, 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 but when God heal you from that, you need to get knowledge also about what caused that thing. Because some people, it's lifestyle, the kind of food you eat causes that kind of sickness. You're like, when God heal you and you keep on eating those things, if there's everything they see that that thing will still come back again. That's you what know? I said before. You will come back again, and then now you are seeking for God again. God, come and help me. Yeah. You God know? will give you in it. We'll go back again. You know, sometimes when people they say, ah, they say the word of God says we shall eat a dead thing. It will not, it will not uh, <laughs> hurt us. We shall, we shall touch a snake. It will not bite us. It's not what God is trying to say. God, no, God is not trying to say. The word of God is not trying to say, say this thing, you know that this food is not good. Eating sugar, eating all those things, processed food or, or junky food. You know it's not good for the health. You are, if you eat it, it will, it will destroy you. You know? But if you know that so -so thing is not good and you are eating it, God can save you. Maybe sometimes, so mostly it is talking about poison. Mm -hmm. Somebody poisoned somebody. In that part, place of Bible is talking you, about... You are not there. You are not there. It's talking about poison. Maybe someone poisoning your food. The Bible says as a child of God, when you eat it, it will never, nothing will happen, mm -hmm. happen to you. You no, know? not when you are there, you see the person. You see the person see, put you it. See the poison, you say it's written. You say it is written. You eat it, you will die. Just like some people here, they say God says you shall take up snake, it will not mm -hmm. bite you. If you go and take snake, snake will bite you. Mm -hmm. Just like one some one man in America is a preacher. The father died with I think rattlesnake killed him. He said the word of God say uh, you should take up snake. He take he bring rattlesnake inside church. The snake bite the man, the man died. The son, the same thing to the son. That yeah. is how they mislead the common sense. Mislead something. It's not what the Bible says. So it's not what the Bible says. It doesn't mean say I uh, say uh, eat it, eat it, eat it by faith. Yeah, I was eating. If I that was... thing is not good, yeah, it's not good for you. It's the one causing sickness in your body. Don't eat it by faith. I was eating something by faith before. I be, um, I like to be sincere. You know some people they don't like sincerity. They like when you are lying. Somebody was praying with me before he said, Pastor, I was telling him then about my health condition because I was having too many health conditions. Too many things would just be coming and going. I was telling him, he said, I should eat that thing by faith. I should eat it. I will eat it by faith. After I eat it, the thing will trouble me. I was still telling him, he said, no, he said, because I don't have a faith like a mustard seed. If I have a faith like a mustard seed, he said, God said we should eat everything. God is the one that created everything. God is this one. This one. God I, I eat it by faith. But the time came in my life, I said, no. I said, this thing. I'm going, I told my mother, I said, this thing just killing me slowly. Mm -hmm. I said, I don't need to be eating it by faith again. I have to try another direction. Then when I try another direction, I see that the thing don't require any faith eating. Mm -hmm. It just requires me to stop eating some certain things because it's not good for my body. Yeah, let me say something. You can have faith that God will heal you. 
You understand? But not by that kind of eating yeah. that food that is troubling your body. You believe in God for healing. That you have faith that God will heal you. That faith, just keep on believing God. But you have to abstain yourself from that particular food. If you if you know that that is the, what is troubling your body, you have to abstain yourself from that. I have faith many things. Yeah, I many a lot of things we have faith on God do it for us. You know, but there are some certain things that you don't need to. You don't need faith. If this thing is troubling you, you don't need to eat mm -hmm. that thing. Say, ah, I, mean, I eat everything. God created it. God created everything. Everything. But remember that God tell you that you should not do this one, you should not do this one. Even those things that he created, he said, avoid this one, avoid this one, avoid God this God one. God created everything that time. They were not spraying all this spray, yeah. all this power, all this spray. What is it you are seeing now? All those chemicals. That is why some people say God is the one like that created vegetables. God, God created it, but he was, it was they were good. not using all those all this nonsense things they are spraying in, on the food. Now. In 60s, 60, 70, all the whole food all was good. Food was okay. No chemical was Nothing. there. When you eat some food, now you'll be having itching ear. Sometimes but today, almost all the whole food we are seeing today, everything have, they have, too, uh, much, parasites they have everywhere. too much things inside. So you have to control it. So you have to be careful, whatever you are doing. God will bless you from the bottom of our house. Yes, thank so you. thank you guys once again. Please, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to like, subscribe. If you are still, you are an old person in our channel, you have never liked our video, please. Show us love and like our video. Remember, see you next time. Bye.